YouTubers, this is Safelove65 and Battleben, as he has made up that username for this video. He hasn't actually got a channel yet, but I'm hoping to get him one soon. Right, we are doing a unboxing and review on Combat Creatures Attack Nids. So they're like, they're like spider thingies, which shoot discs. You can get a range of weapons for them. You can get... Um, you can get different colours. You can get a blue one of these. You can get if if you look at if you look at that there. Can you see that that's got a massive magazine on? And then you can get silver silver armor as well, which is like stronger. Um, you can get a a sphere shooter. You can get machine as well or machine gun, and that shoots darts. Bit, bit like a nerf gun if you guys know what that is you probably will um, and this is the unboxing of it as you can see we've already opened it as my brother battle ben has put um a little teeth, tooth mark in it <laughs> just kidding guys he didn't actually eat it it's not that fat at least i don't think so um so we're going to unbox it now so um, if we look here, uh, if we look here, we've got a spider thingy. As you know, we've already opened it. So the, there's the dissected discs. Fairly foam. Can't do any harm. Um, so we've got the attack nid here. Put it on the floor below. And we've got the attack nid. That is that. That's its mini hat thing. I don't know what it's for, but you know. Um, so that's its hat. We've got the attack nid itself. The tiny remote control. Right, this is quite complicated, guys. This is the remote control, and what it does is obviously controls the robot. Well, no. Um, hold it like that, Ben. Okay. Yeah. So, right. Okay, then. This has got the combat creatures M on it. You go that for backwards. That's for forward. That's for rotating the battle brain right or clockwise. That's for rotating it left or anti-clockwise. And these uh, circular things are go to go like diagonal and stuff. Right. Yellow is to lower the weapon down. Blue is to l make it higher. Then we've got this for laser. It's not actually a laser, it's just for the light. Then we've got that. That's actually for shooting. It sounds a bit like one of those um, velocity things or whatever you call them. Those nerf guns that shoot discs when it like shoots stuff but right. anyway guys let's put this thing together so as i told you these are dissected discs so we'll just take these out and put them in a pile Find them. Um, just take this bit off the italian does actually fit in the box after it's all put together so these are um, dissected discs um my brother just said it doesn't so you have to find that out for yourselves. It you doesn't um, when it's got the armor on it. Okay, doesn't. it doesn't. It don't fit in when it's got the armor. So these are the dissected discs. Just tiny foam in a box. Tiny foam circles. They come in a little plastic packet. Um, yeah, you get twenty, but you can only put twelve in the thing's magazine. Thing in the jigger. Can we put 12 in? So it's like you get 8 spare in case you lose any. And then here we have the um, the thing. Um, thing probably isn't in the description. This is the item that holds the dissector discs, as you can see. That goes nicely there. Like that. That's it, Benjamin. You don't like big tall ones, do you? Right, that's the dissector discs put in the magazine. You can fit 12 in, as I've already told you. And then we've got this. This is the battle vein. You get these little targets, uh, one big size, yeah? And then you get this other one, which is a lot smaller. Um, and... If you hit if you hit that three times, one, two, three, yeah, it, it will shut down your attack nid, and the attack nid will die. And the other attack nid wins. Um, and then what we've got also in the box is we have here is the leg armor. It goes on its legs like that. It on its legs. But we also have leg skins. So these. 
these are the only things that aren't to clip onto. It can't clip on. Wait, yeah, it can clip onto the leg without skin. So I looked at that before. So the skin goes onto the leg like that, and then we have we have this other little bit. I accidentally broke one earlier when we were trying to do a video. We have this little bit that fits right on there. Some legs are fatter than others, and so you have to be careful of which one you put them on. If you use a common sense like I didn't. You'll know. Right, look, that's a fatter one there, I think. Is that a fatter one, Benji? That's a fatter one. Right, that's a fatter one there. It's much, one. much fatter than the other one, as you can see. Um, so, we're just going to basically put it together now. I'm crap to put it together, so I'm going to put the arm on. Just the arm. It's, yeah, it's very, very sensitive, so if you go like that, it pops off. Um, sorry for the bad viewing. I'm not, I'm not. Right, put that on for me. Right. So that goes on, and if you if the dissector disc hits that, yeah, it pops off. Yeah, boom, like that, it just pops off. And if the other attack is close enough, I'll actually hit it in the face. That's actually quite funny. Yeah, and you've got your dissector disc, you hit that, and then that goes, whee! And it hits you in the face, it's like, that would not be very good. And if you're so amazing, you should have a mini camera and you can put the mini camera on the tank lid. So right now, I'm on a little rose putting it together. Uh, have you almost finished, Ben? No way. Um, he is putting the other armour on. I think he's just got one more leg armour. Yeah, that's it. It has a signature M on it for combat features. Um, no. Wow, almost ten minutes. Your head's in the way. Um, and as I sh I showed you the battle vein earlier. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this. This is the weapon thing. If you don't have this on, you can't use your weapon. So that that just like slots in there. Hmm? It moved. I'm scared now. Um, that that little thing actually moves up and down to low, raise and lower the the weapon. Um, we've got the disc thing all loaded. That goes on there, and then uh, that, that can goes up like and down that. to raise and lower it. We'll show you it in action when we finish putting the thing together. So we're going to choose the big target to put on there, aren't we, Benji? That's a small target. So we've got the big one here. I'm putting that on. And then we put the battle vein on. Whichever way the battle vein faces, that's the way that it moves. And also, the battle vein has to move a certain way. It has to be put a certain way or else it won't work. Um, then I think it's all put together. It looks magnificent. Oh, magnificent. I can't, I can't say the Spanish word, version of Magnificent. This is a Magnificent attack need, right, Benji? Turn it on. Battle or... Uh, Normal mode, please. Okay. Right, this is it in action. It's quite noisy, so you can't sneak up on your friends. Let's go. This is a spider thing in action. Okay, now we're going to show you the weapon, so turn the head down instead. Wait. Turn the head down. It has full 360 degree control. Um, no, please don't shoot at me. Um, we've got these dissected discs, as you see, that's just... Ah, help! That's just, that's just raised up, and that, that shoots... Uh, dead. Ow! That hit my finger. That shoots the discs. Um, I'll just video it again from a safe distance. Right, now, now shoot it, Ben. Shoot. Right, um, as you can see, that is very high powered. It actually jolted my finger a second, my tablet. Um, so now we're going to shoot strawberry, my lovely little pink dog. Feel sorry for strawberry. Right, um, comment if you love like little cute, little cute soft toys. Just bought it from Toys R Us the same day we bought the tank nid. I wish I bought the tank nid now, but this is so cute. Right, this is the tank nid. It's going to shoot strawberry. And so, yeah. 
Yeah, so he's getting pretty badly shot in the eye. Um, right in the eye, bro. Um, okay. Shoot it in the middle of the forehead. Right, that's... Is that all the ammo gone? Yeah, that, all that all ammo's gone. gone now. We're going to show you it in battle mode. So notice that that light there is just staying there. And you have to hit this to shut it down. But it doesn't work in normal mode. So we switch this to the left once more. You can see that that flashes. Um, move it around, Benjamin. Right. So moving this, I, I, I hit that, um, wait, did that work? I hit that once, yeah? No, it didn't work. It didn't, wait. <coughs> it's not the force, Binty. Is it work, is it, did it work? Right. That press that that, thing. If you press that it, press it that, and then, if you press it three times, press it one more time, it breaks, it doesn't work. It. So now it is totally immobilised. It go. And it's not going to work anymore. So it doesn't work. Even though it's on bottle, it still doesn't work. So we have to turn it off and turn it back on again for it to work. So guys, that was my Tatnid unboxing with you. Hope you liked it. Please like, comment and subscribe. It will uh, get us to bring more Tatnid. It will get us to bring up. Uh, more attacking videos on the internet. Taste it, 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 it. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, So now it's time to say goodbye. If you have any, if you have any idea of what I should call my subscribers, please comment in the comments below. Um, Shut it up a second, then Jim. Too loud. You can't hear me. Right. Um. Please like, comment, sub and subscribe. That will encourage me to bring more videos onto the internet. I'm hoping for 10 subscribers. Okay, so I know that's hardly any, but I don't think I'm going to be as big as Sky all that. So, um, see you guys later. Bye.